Okay guys, first thing I do to get ready for date night is get my face in order. I am using a salt and sugar scrub, which is called Microderm Abrasion Paste. It is from the Rodan and Phil's line. You want more information, get in that description box. And there it is. And you apply this to dry skin and you just massage it all over your face in a circular motion. And I also get it on my neck area as well. All right, now that my face is silky smooth, I go to step two with my toner. And this is from the regimen that lightens and brightens your skin, evens your skin tone, helps to get rid of those dark marks from post acne scars. Um, or any other blemishes that you've had in the past and I apply this all over my face and my neck area wherever I have washed it or used the microdermabrasion paste and as you can see there is some dirt on my cotton brown that's why using toner is such an important step that most people skip but they definitely should not skip that step Alright, next I am going to use my skin lightening treatment to treat certain dark spots. You can put it all over your face or you can do spot treatments. For me, I'm doing spot treatments right now from areas where I have had blemishes in the last month or so that I pick at because I'm bad with doing that. <laughs> so I'm just putting this in those areas in particular. Just a very little amount. All right, next I am going to be using my moisturizer with SPF 45. And SPF is a very important component in your moisturizer. And uh, you definitely want to have your moisturizer or your makeup have SPF. That is to protect your skin from further damage and to keep the dark spots that you do have existing from getting darker. So I just dot this around my face to ensure that I'm going to get even coverage and then rub it in and making sure that I get my neck area as well. Okay, so I skipped this step <laughs> putting on my eye cream. I usually put my eye cream on before my moisturizer, but it's okay. As long as you get it in is what's important and at 35. You definitely need some eye cream. Coffee and eye cream. Got to have those. And I dot my eye cream all around my eye socket bone. And after that, I will pat it in using my ring finger, which is the gentlest finger on your hand because that skin around your eyes is very sensitive and delicate. So I pat my eye cream in and I do a very gentle um, rub after I have patted it in to get it to penetrate that area and you don't want it too close to your eyes because that cream will travel once it's um, into your skin and look at my nails love them with my jamberry accents on my ring fingers so can't wait to do all my nails hi guys it is date night and we are on our way to paint we just dropped the kids off. It's almost dark. So, yes, you can barely see Michael. Say, hey, baby. <laughs> so, we're on our way to paint. I'm very excited. Uh, I've never done it before. I'm just excited not to have kids. I don't really care what we're about to do. We could be going roller skating. Not to say roller skating is not fun, but I don't roller skate well. So, for me, it's not that fun. But anyway, we could be going to roller skate, and i still be excited because... No kids after a week of a lot of kids and a lot of interaction with people. So that's what it is. Um, 
I will let you know how it goes, of course, and let you see our beautiful results. My husband's driving. It's, he's a madman. some of the paintings that they already have done. guys I am back to do a wrap-up <laughs> of date night we had so much fun so if you have a painting studio that does things like that in your area then you definitely have to visit and if you have gone before comment below and tell me how you liked it what was your experience like have you become completely hooked on going come closer say hi Evan Evan's drinking his juice still in PJs we're all kind of still lounging but yeah so I was going to show you guys my painting and I love it of course you've seen pictures but I just want to give you an up close view of my painting and look at my neat little signature at the bottom I really loved it so I enjoyed painting thoroughly. Um, it was very therapeutic. I was very uptight at first because I'm a perfectionist and I want everything to be perfect. I, it's hard for me to do abstract things. So it was a little difficult, but my husband was like, calm down, relax. This is fun. It's supposed to be fun. It's not, it doesn't have to be major and serious. So I did and I was very pleased with the outcome. One thing that the studio does that I went to is they do one a SOS class one time a month, a month, once a month, SOS. And that means if you've come to the studio before and you're just not pleased with your painting and how it turned out, you can come to the SOS class for free and an instructor will help you tweak it and get it to where you're pleased with your results. So that's pretty cool. But I am pleased. I only see a couple of places where I wish I would have like added an extra brush stroke, but that's nothing to go back for SOS, but um, I really enjoyed it. I loved it, and I just wanted to let you guys know, no, Evan, you <laughs> don't do that, that it was a really good date night. We've never done anything like that before. We usually go to the movies or go to dinner, and so it was really good to do something different and enjoy each other's company, and we had a group of eight, so we all got to know each other by the end of the night. We were all talking and laughing and just having a good old time, and um. We will definitely be going back in the future. I would like to do something like that once a month, once every other month, something like that. You know, not just excessive where you're doing it so much as not even fun no more. <laughs> but um, yeah, we really loved it. So I just wanted to tell you that and just wrap up date night video. And um, we will see you guys on our next vlog. On our next vlog, I'm going to post, will be our Birmingham trip. But since this one was much shorter, I wanted to go ahead and get it out because you guys haven't seen anything in a while since we were out of town and my out of town vlog is going to be longer. So just getting this out was important to me for you all. All right, everyone wants to say something before we leave. Um, hello everybody. I'm getting a new shotgun. I can't see you. <laughs> okay. I'm getting a nerve shotgun and a nerve rocking one. They, look, can you see your face? Um, so they no. can't see your face. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to get a nerve shotgun and a nerve rocking one. He's having a birthday soon, so he will be getting some nerve stuff. Well, guys, that's it for the date night wrap up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to give me a thumbs up on my video and, uh, Subscribe to our channel, 
follow us on social media to see just what we're doing throughout the week <laughs> and pictures of what's going on for us. I did find everything for my classroom. So next week I'll be putting my classroom together and you are going to see how that turns out. I'm also having my MRI in a couple of days, so I'll be updating you on that. <laughs> Somebody called me facts. So yeah, lots of stuff coming up. So uh, stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching. We love you. And I'll see you. Next time. Wait, that, they can't see you. Do that again. That's cute. Do it. Bye-bye, everybody. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>